This tech clip will cover some highlighted features of what's new in ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.8. Self-managing storage was introduced in ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.7 and further expanded in the release of 9.8. You can think of the elements of lifecycle management in four categories. They are day one management, which involves configurations and storage provisioning, preventative management, which involves addressing underlying issues of future problems, proactive management, which involves detecting and addressing the problems before they arise, and reactive management, which involves resolving and limiting the impact of a particular problem that has just occurred. AIQUM 9.8 performs lifecycle management in the following four key areas. Storage resource performance, which takes care of balancing resource load for consistent application performance. Storage workload performance, which manages workload through performance service levels. Storage capacity, which makes sure that the storage resources never run out of space by tiering data and balancing capacity. And storage security, which helps customers verify systems adhere to NetApp security best practices. From the ActiveIQ Unified Manager dashboard, we can see that it processes all events, triages them based on their nature and severity, as it comes up with the appropriate remediation from a thorough deep analysis. It helps customers resolve an issue with a simple click of a fix-it button. This latest version of AIQUM has also added RESTful API support for retrieving events running in an active IQ Unified Manager server. The REST APIs under the Management Server slash Event category enables you to retrieve events that are generated from the clusters you're monitoring. In this release, only GET operations are possible using the Events API. Using this API, you can query the events, including historical data, by using built-in filters. With AIQUM 9.8, we can view the configuration and performance metrics of NAS volumes or LUNs that are attached as data stores in a Metro Cluster configuration or SVMDR setup. Make sure that the clusters under the Metro Cluster configuration and vCenter used are managed by the ActiveIQ Unified Manager. You can view the data stores under the VMware Virtual Machines page. Click the VM inventory that hosts the data store and click the data store object link. In the standard scenario, you can see the performance data of the volumes and LUNs in the primary storage VM. In the case of a disaster and a switchover is made to the secondary storage VM, the data store link points to the performance metrics of the volume or LUN in that secondary storage VM. This is reflected after the next cycle of cluster and SVM discovery or acquisition is complete. Now you can assign performance service levels, PSLs, or storage efficiency policies, SEPs, to multiple storage workloads together at one time. This is possible under the Inventory Workloads page. Select the checkboxes for the workloads to which you want to assign a specific policy. After selecting the required workloads, click on More Actions. For assigning a PSL, select Assign Performance Service Level. A pop-up is displayed for you to select the policy. Select the appropriate policy and click Apply. In ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.8, you can customize existing reports in Excel. With this feature, you can customize existing Unified Manager reports by creating a formula or pivot tables and charts, and then upload it back into Unified Manager. Now, each time the report is created manually or through a schedule, the customized report will be engaged with the latest updated values. You can use this feature in three simple steps. Save a view and download the Excel report, customize the Excel report using formulas and charts, and upload the customized sheet to the appropriate view. Customized reports will be generated with the latest updated values. ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.8 has also introduced backup and restore of the Unified Manager database using NetApp Snapshot Copies. NetApp Snapshot Copies creates a point-in-time snapshot of the Unified Manager database and configuration files that you can use to restore in case of a system failure or data loss. Please note that this functionality is available only when Unified Manager is installed on a Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS Linux server. To enable the snapshot backups with the maintenance console, use the Configure NetApp Snapshot Backup option. Once enabled, you can see the mode of backup as snapshot, and a list of snapshot copies will be displayed on the database backup page. You can configure the retention count and schedule of the backup in the backup settings.